Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week I want to speak about how how we experience people is less about the people and more about us. So it's not about them, it's always about you. And what I want to talk about is if you have um, a friend or an acquaintance or somebody that you find challenging in one way or another, it's very easy to look at that person and say that they're being wrong or they're doing something wrong or their beliefs are wrong or their upbringing was wrong or their morals are wrong or anything that is wrong we project onto other people. But what I want to say today is that it's never ever about the other person. It is always about you. And I think I've spoken about triggers in the past. And if I have, I'll stick a link in the show notes below. And what those triggers are, are their wounds, their wounds inside of you, hurt that you haven't actually let go of over the years. And quite often with those triggers, the hurt that we have, that we've sort of hold, held on to through our life, it grows. And the reason it grows is because after the first instance, when that hurt happened and you held on to it, you've seen other things that you have almost collected as you've gone along. Say, for instance, someone stole something from you and that upset you and hurt you and you, you've, you held on to that hurt inside of you. And then you see someone else steal from somebody else and you're reminded of that pain and that hurt inside of you. And by remembering it and focusing on it, you grow it, you add to it. It's like this other incident that happened. You've taken the hurt and the pain from that instance, even if it didn't even happen to you, even if it's something you saw happen to somebody else and you've collected it and you've added it to this hurt and this pain inside of you and you've grown it even bigger and so on and so forth through your life. So that when somebody has a belief opposite to you about stealing, say for instance, they say to you, well, actually, I understand why people steal when they don't have anything. But you have this pain inside of you and this anger and this hurt. And all of a sudden you erupt and it's like, it doesn't matter who steals or what their position is. Stealing is wrong. It's hurtful. It's, it's damaging to the people it happens to. And all this pain comes out. It wasn't about the person whose opinion was different to yours. It wasn't that that person was wrong. It was because you were holding on to the pain of what had happened to you in the past. And that was what caused more pain in the present. And I've talked about sort of theft, but it could be anything. Um, for instance, I know with the COVID vaccines, there's lots of polarised beliefs. Some people believe that they shouldn't get it. Some people believe that they should get it. And that can cause a lot of conflict. And I don't know what the beliefs are, the hurt or the pain behind those two differing points of view are. But what I'm saying is that those reactions to that pain are not about the person that they're blaming. It's about something that's going on with inside themselves. And the things that we can be triggered about are absolutely infinite in their amounts. It could be anything from any anyone. It could be about your education. It could be about your religious beliefs. It could be about um, your race. It could be about your gender. It could be about which football team is right or wrong. It really doesn't matter. But if you have pain within yourself and someone says something that touches on that pain, you will want to make them wrong. Now, I've explained about how we react and make other people wrong, why that happens, but I want to share a little bit about what you can do about it. When you find yourself reacting negatively to somebody and blaming them and pointing the finger at them and making them wrong, the first thing is to realise that it's not about that person. The first thing to realise is because you have been holding on to some pain from whatever it was that happened in the past. The second step is to realise where that pain came from and to acknowledge that within yourself, to see that it is never the person that we think that is causing us pain, but something that we've held on to, the pain and the hurt of an incident that happened. And then it's to make a decision and decide whether or not you're going to be forgiving, whether it's forgiving yourself, forgiving somebody else, letting go of that hurt and that pain, because letting go of that hurt and the pain is the only way to make it go away. 
arguing with the other person, shouting at them, making them wrong, ignoring them, cutting them, um, even physically fighting with them, will not remove that pain from your life. The only thing that will remove that pain from your life is you finding forgiveness around whatever it was that happened that caused the initial pain and hurt within you. Um, I have done an episode on forgiveness before, and I'll put a link to that in the show notes below. Um, however, if you are struggling with something like this and you're finding it hard to forgive, you can always contact me for a coaching session, or you can do one of my online programs um, in which forgiveness is generally covered. And all the links to all of that are in the show notes below. Have a fabulous week. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.